in this video I'm gonna talk about a, a table that I got from a book that I'm reading CCIE routing and switching version 5.0 uh, volume 1 fifth edition by Narbic and Peter uh, they are both CCIE so Comparing uh, RARP or reverse ARP uh, boot P or bootstrap protocol and DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol. So these three protocols are um, the, the ones that I mean the protocols that we use if we want a host to discover its own IP addresses, its own IP address, subject mask, and other things. So RARP is actually our predecessor or boot P and boot P is uh, its predecessor predecessor of DHCP. Um, you, in these these days, you would uh, usually usually encounter DHCP. Uh, but let's talk about um, all these protocols. So I've got a table here. So feature RARP boot P DHCP. So basically, you know, we're trying to compare. Uh, the their features so uh, relies on server to allocate IP addresses so RARP, boot P and DHCP has have all have this feature uh, so all yes yeses um, encapsulates messages inside IP and UDP so that they can be uh, forwarded Provided to your remote server. So RARP doesn't have this feature, but boot P and DHCP do. Client can discover its own mass, gateway, DNS, and download server. So no, yes, yes. Dynamic address assignment from a pool of IP addresses without requiring knowledge of client. Max or MAC address. So, no, no, yes. Uh, allows temporar temporary list of IP addresses. So, no, no, yes. Includes extensions of for registering clients FQDN where they DNS. So, again, no, no, yes. So, yeah, um, I also want to mention that um, these three uh, protocols rely <coughs> on a server uh, or actually, let me just read the Just read something here. Where is it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, basically. Um, the good thing about using DHCP is because uh, you don't have to configure, you don't have to have a mapping of MAC address and IP address uh, on the server uh, because, and by the way, these, all, these uh, protocols rely on a server, a centralized server. So with RARP and boot P, like I said, 
uh, you need to have the servers configured with uh, MAC to IP mapping but with DHCP you don't have to have that um, <clears throat> that uh, configuration so that's why you will see a lot of DHCP uh, protocol nowadays not uh, not warp and boot, boot TP or bootstrap protocol so that's it for this video I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.